coworkers and everyone out there. My name is Evan Gano and I'm the photo editor of the Daily Target newspaper. Today I'm joined with the sports editor Garrett Seppian and we are on our way to Indiana University for the football game this weekend. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what it's like to travel and come to the sport or sports in general and um, just give you the experience. So yeah, catch you guys later. In case you were wondering, this is what the empty field looks like, and now I'm gonna go back to the media room. Hi guys. So I'm sorry about this, but I actually forgot to film the rest of the trip. Um, but I'll just narrate the rest right now with some photos starting now. So after the game, we actually went to Steak and Shake where um, Garrett had it for the first time. He was quite enlightened. Photo right here. Um, after that, we just went to the hotel and Garrett started getting on some work for the, um, over the game, pumping out some content. And for that reason, we went to sleep really late and we actually missed our flight. It was at like 7.30 a.m. We overslept. Actually, no, we could have made it if the security line wasn't that long. Yeah, so we had to buy our own um, tickets back home. Uh, out of our pocket too, because, you know, we screwed up. We realized that. Um, and then we just worked remotely from the different airports, like while our um, office mates were doing work from here at our home office in New Brunswick. Um, but at this point of the video, I want to throw a thank you to you guys because um, I know some of you at this point of the video are probably wondering where does Targum get all of its money to like fund these trips? And um, honestly, it comes from you guys. That 1075 that you guys um, give to us in your term bills really helps us a lot. It goes a long way as it, when it builds. Um, in case you didn't notice, Garrett and I were working alongside some professionals at the game, and the thing is, we here at the Targum do the same exact work, we get the same exact credentials, and we are even nationally renowned as a accredited newspaper. Um, this is because we go above and beyond the normal student-run newspaper. Um, unfortunately, most colleges around the U.S. can't afford to offer the same exact opportunities that we do here. And that's why, come April 2016, I want you guys to go outside to our tables, make a stop, and vote yes to our referendum. Um, keep us going. Keep us going as the second oldest newspaper in the U.S. Um, just keep the opportunities open for all the Rutgers students, regardless of whether or not they are majoring in journalism, English, comp sci, engineering, what have you. We honestly welcome everyone. Um, on a final note, I want to thank you guys again for offering every or for allowing us to do what we're doing. And um, yeah, I wanna wish you a great day and a successful rest of the semester.